Hello you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about the Lush Kitchen and what they're going to be making for us online to buy next week, July 31st through August 4th. Not wearing a stick of makeup today. <laughs> I'm just running around like a chicken without my head. Don't even have time to put makeup on. <laughs> on Monday, Lush is going to be making the Happy Pill bath bomb and I'm really excited because the Happy Pill is one of my favorite Lush bath bombs because it's a two a two bath bombs in one kind of a bath bomb and it's so cute it looks like a pill. The Happy Pill is made, half of it is made with the Happy Hippie shower gel scent which is a classic uh, retro Lush shower gel and the other half, the orange half, is made with the olive branch scent. So together it makes a, a citrusy combo. You've got the uh, You've got the lemon and the grapefruit from Happy Hippie, and then you've got the orange and such from the olive branch. And so it's really nice. And the Happy Pill is a slow fizzer, which I really like. I don't have any uh, Happy Pills. So here's a picture of my original Happy Pill. And then here's a picture of a new Happy Pill in the kitchen. So if you like the olive branch, uh, you would like the Happy Pill. I would rate the Happy Pill a 5 out of 5 rating. The Happy Pill is going to be £4.25, which works out to $5.58 if you're paying in US dollars. And they only have one product that day. Hmm. Sometimes they keep one product, sometimes they add something at the last minute, special, so keep your eyes peeled. On Tuesday, Lush is going to be making Slammer Shower Gel. Here's Slammer Shower Gel. I get a lot of questions about Slammer and what it might smell like. Slammer has lime, lemon, and honey. It has two or three different kinds of uh, lime in here. It's got fresh lime peel and it's got seawater. It's got fresh lime juice. It's got honey, lime oil, and lemon oil. This is suitable for vegetarians, not for vegans because it has honey in it. And it says, wake on up before you go go. This invigorating citrus and honey mix is sure to put the boom boom into your heart and fuel an early start. And so it smells to me, it's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all of the Lush Citrusy Shower Gels and sort of compare them to Slammer so you get an idea, okay? So as far as comparing it to, say, Bubbly Shower Gel, this one definitely has much more of a lime presence than Bubbly. Bubbly has more of a grapefruity fizz. This one has more of a, a lime. And bubbly is more sort of bright and fizzy and light, whereas this is more sort of, it's a little bit sweeter and heavier because of the honey. Um, now, as far as, does this smell like Holacus? Um, It's a less perfumey, stronger lime scent than Calacas. It kind of smells like if you got lush lemon melt jelly and put a lot of limes in it. That's what it smells like. Yeah, that's what it smells like to me. Like if you took back for breakfast <laughs> and Calacas and lemon melt and you mix them all up. That's kind of what Slammer smells like to me. I would rate Slammer a three and a half or a four out of five rating. Slammer is going to be 11 pounds 25, which works out to $14.76. Also on Tuesday is Lip Lime Lip Balm. This is a retro Lush item, and I remember using Lip Lime most definitely. Here's a picture of it. And lip lime is a thinner consistency than uh, buttered Brazils. It's a thinner consistency than rose lollipop. Uh, it's a thinner consistency than lip service. So 
it's kind of along the lines in consistency of like the uh, passion fruit lip balm. You know how it's it's not thick and goopy. It's sort of like light and slippery and oily. That's what Lush Lip Lime is like. It does have a, a scent of lime. It doesn't have a, a strong taste of lime though. And so it's much like the uh, lime lip that they sell currently. So I would rate Lip Lime a two and a half out of five rating, but that's because I like more goopy, thick lip balms, okay? Because I have like insanely dry lips. So if you don't like thick, goopy, lip balms, then you would probably like light lip balm. And light lip balm is going to be £6.75, which works out to $8.86. On Wednesday, Lish is going to be making Temple of Truth Bubble Bar. And Temple of Truth is a retro bubble bar. And they come in two versions, a blue version, and they used to make a white version. Uh, they made the white version for us on the forum. It looks like a it looks like a kind of a pointed dome shape. Here's a picture. It's not that much money. It's it's a low cost bubble bar comparatively speaking. Bubble bars on the Lush North America site. I saw one the other day, a bubble bar, on the North American Lush site for nine, almost ten dollars. <laughs> Temple of Truth bubble bar is going to be three pounds ninety-five, which works up to five dollars and eighteen cents. Literally almost half the price of a Lush North America bubble bar. And it's fresher and it's more saturated in color. You're, you're getting a better bubble bar for almost half the price if you order it from Lush UK than if you ordered it from here in the States. Even with the shipping cost of ordering from the UK, it's the same price as the shipping from Lush North America to my house. It's the same price for shipping from Lush North America to my house than it is from Lush UK to my house. Okay, so now you see, now you know why I've been buying from Lush UK since the year 2001. And it makes a gorgeous, gorgeous dark turquoise water. And it has this scent that's like temple incense. You know what I mean? Like it's a, it's, it's very incense-y. And I like it. Three. Temple of Truth has three different kinds of uh, woody notes in it. Sandalwood, ho wood, and I think rosewood or guac wood in it. So that's why it smells kind of woodsy and scentsy. I, I love sandalwood, so I would rate Temple of Truth a 4 out of 5 rating. Temple of Truth is going to be £3.95, which works out to $5.18. Also on Wednesday, I'm excited, Lush is going to be making Inhale Exhale Bath Bombs. This is two different colors. It's half blue and half red. And they call it Inhale Exhale because Lush sells a very popular perfume in all of their stores and online for years and it's called Breath of God. Here's the Breath of God perfume. They sell them in the stores now. The bottles don't look like this in the stores now. This is a, a vintage um, Breath of God from their Be Never boutique they used to have in London. And um, I love it. It has metal, um, like a metal parts on it that have like carved metal moon and stars on it. The insignias on the front and the back. and. It has little metal things up here that I took off that dangle. It's really cute. So Breath of God fragrance is made with two perfumes, okay? Breath of God is made with the inhale scent perfume and the exhale perfume. Here, here's an exhale perfume from Lush. 
okay? I don't have the inhale one because I used it and I accidentally threw the bottle out. Breath of God fragrance at Lush sells in the stores and everywhere else is made from exhale and inhale, two of their scents. Okay, you with me so far? Okay, so inhale and exhale is the name of this bath bomb. So this bath bomb, half of it, there's the red and the green, half of it is the inhale fragrance and half of it is the exhale fragrance and together the bath bomb smells like the breath of God fragrance. Because in some ancient Hindu texts uh, they have Brahma and Brahma is the in-breath and the out-breath of God and so that's why it's called breath of God. Inhale, exhale. Without getting too esoteric, <laughs> half of it is sort of a feminine, uh, the yin part of the yin yang. Uh, it's, it, it's a more feminine kind of uh, notes. Rose is in here. And the other half is more of a yang of, of the yin and yang, a more male outward exhale energy. This one has more of a woody notes. Yin side of the yin and yang, the female counterpart, has neroli, alang alang, and uh, more, you know, more kind of uh, floral and citrus notes. So I love this bath bomb. I love the Breath of God fragrance. And the cool thing is, the red and the blue combine in the bath to make a purple colored water. Now this is a smaller bath bomb like the Butterball bath bomb in the stores. It's not a regular size bath bomb. And this one is a, it's, it's not a fast fizzer, it's a, it's a foamer. It was one of Lush's first foamy bath bombs. Uh, this is a retro item. They sold this um, in 2007, I think it was, or 2008. And this will be the third or fourth time that the Lush Kitchen will be making these. I have a demo video of Inhale Exhale here on my YouTube channel, and I'll leave a link to that below in the description box. I would rate this bath bomb a five out of five rating. Inhale Exhale is gonna be three pounds 75, which works out to $4.92. Thursday in the Lush Kitchen, Lush is going to be making Still Life Bath Bomb. And those of you who've been reading uh, my blog for many years know that I love Still, Still Life. Still Life was made uh, in honor of Vincent van Gogh, uh, Impressionist painter. And he made a painting called Sunflowers that is very famous. And so Still Life has sunflower petals in it. It's a bright yellow, gorgeous, cheery looking bath bomb. Here's the picture. Still Life is made with lemon, orange oil, and bergamot. It's got marigold petals in it and sunflower petals. And it's an old school, old style bath bomb. So it doesn't slow fizz, it fast fizzes. And it leaves the water a light yellow color and it smells great and so that's still life i would rate still life a four out of five rating here's some pictures i took of still life still life is going to be three pounds 95 which works out to five dollars and 18 cents if you're paying in u.s dollars also on Thursday is deep sleep shower jelly. Yay! <laughs> and again, a shower jelly is an alternative to soap. And you can use the whole thing in, in the shower in one, one wiggly blobby piece <laughs> like this. Or you can cut it into thin slices and use a slice at the sink for soap, like soap. Or you can blend it in a blender and um, make it into like a shower smoothie. Or you can cut them into cubes. You can freeze them, you can use them at room temperature, you can use them for bubble bath. I have a uh, demo video here on my YouTube channel of uh, using sh less shower jellies for a bubble bath. It makes an incredibly lot of bubbles.
So it's a multi-purpose kind of thing. And I, those of you who've been watching me for a long time know that I really like Deep Sleep Shower Jelly. Deep Sleep used to be my favorite shower jelly before they introduced like the last 30 shower jellies. <laughs> when they used to just have, you know, seven shower jellies in total of all time, Deep Sleep was my favorite one because it has orange oil. Naturally, I like something with orange oil in it. And it's got lavender in it too. So it's a different blend for Lush. Very few products that Lush has made over the last 15 years have orange oil and lavender. So, and it just works so well. I mostly smell, it's not a strong orange scent. It's a perfect blend of the two. Now, when I open this up and smell it, I smell the lavender first before the orange. So those of you that like, you know, herby, lavender, lush things would probably like Deep Sleep. And it has a gorgeous luster, gold luster on it. I don't know if you can see it. And it's sparkly. It's so pretty. Can you see the glitter? So that's what that looks like, it's orange. So this has sunflower petal infusion as its first ingredient, sunflower seed infusion, orange juice, lavender oil, chamomile oil, lavender absolute, and neroli oil. So it's got orange and neroli, which are both sort of orange, sort of orangey. And then lavender and chamomile. I always like Lush products that have that chamomile and lavender blend. So yeah, I would rate Deep Sleep a five out of five rating. Deep Sleep is gonna be seven pounds 95, which works out to $10.43. On Friday, Lush is gonna be making Party On Temple Balm and Party On Shower Jelly. Here's Party On Shower Jelly. And this is a very popular shower jelly with people. This one has fresh rosemary infusion as its first ingredient. And then it has fresh mint and lime oil, menthol crystals, rosemary oil, and juniper berry oil. Suitable for vegans. It says top notes of zesty lime oil and reviving menthol. Make for a voluptuous handful that gives you tingles. So lime and menthol. And it's got a little bit of, of mint in it too and all that other stuff. Now the reason why it's got menthol and all that other stuff and then it's called Party On is so that you can stay up a little bit longer to party. So it keeps you awake is what this was made for. And that's why it has menthol crystals and mint and lime. So it's very sort of bright and lifting. It's uplifting. The menthol isn't very strong, but you can tell it's in there. So it doesn't smell overly medicinal like some menthol stuff does. It smells bright and um, it's kind of nice. It's like a nuclear yellow green color. See that? It doesn't have any sparkle in it. I don't have a demo video of Party On Jelly, which is odd because I have a demo video of about 30 or 40 Lush jellies, but I don't have one of Party On. Once again, uh, shower jelly is an alternative to soap or bubble bath. Party on shower jelly is going to be seven pounds 95, which works out to ten dollars and 43 cents. Also on Friday is party on temple balm. Now, temple balm, uh, put on your temple area right here because uh, anywhere that on the body that you have a pulse point, like here, here, the backs of the knees, your temples. Um, there's more sort of body warmth there. That's why you put perfume on those uh, points. So the temple balms are aromatherapy, basically. And so the party on temple balm is to help you keep awake um, if you want to party more or if you want to study more. So because it has that menthol and that bright, the, all of those bright aromatherapy notes and putting it on your temples instead of here, will of course give you more aromatherapy because it's nearer to your nose. So it's in a cocoa butter base, just like a solid perfume. 
and it comes in one of these tins. Party on Temple Balm is going to be six pounds twenty-five, which works out to eight dollars and thirty cents. I would rate Party on Temple Balm a three out of five rating. And those are the things in the Lush Kitchen that they're going to be making for anyone to buy off their Lush Kitchen website at lush.co.uk next week, July 31st through August 4th. As far as what my opinion is on what's going to be selling the quickest, I think that a lot of things in the Lush Kitchen are going to sell well next week. Um, I can't really, I can't think of one thing that isn't going to sell well. Maybe the Party on Temple Balm and maybe the Lip Lime won't sell as well as the uh, jellies and the shower gel and the bath bombs and the bubble bars. So what I'm gonna be getting, two happy pills if I can, a Temple of Truth bubble bar, three inhale, exhale bath bomb, and one still life bath bomb. So that's what I'm gonna try to get. What are you guys gonna try to get? I'll put the, uh, I'll put a poll up there like I usually do on my uh, Lush Kitchen videos so you can let me know which stuff that you want to buy. What else? Um, a lot of people have been asking me about the jelly bombs and, and the body sprays. Now, the jelly bombs that Lush uh, introduced a few days ago are now on the Lush UK site. I have the Dark Arts jelly bomb demo here on my youtube channel that i did a uh, day before yesterday i have the green coconut bath bomb demo here on my youtube channel that i did yesterday and so also the body sprays the rose jam body spray the plum rain body spray the love body spray the self-esteem machine body spray the twilight body spray and the Dirty Body Spray, and the Dad's Garden Body Spray, and I think one more are all going to be, um, they're all in the UK now. They're not exclusive to Oxford Street or the Lush Kitchen anymore. And I understand that they have plans to introduce those into here into the US market as well. Um, but not for a while. It'll probably won't be until Christmas time or, or after Christmas even. And I don't know if they're going to be having all of them come to the U.S. or just some of them. I still have yet to review all of these. Or I've only reviewed the Plum Rain one here on my YouTube channel and blog. And so I still have to review the Twilight Rose Jam Love and Self Esteem Machine. So I'll be doing that in the next week. And I'll be doing a review here on my YouTube channel for rump and new hair, uh, hot oil hair conditioner and the hair doctor hair hot oil hair conditioner and the, um, the face masks, the um, 1000 millihelens, the bunny moon, uh, FOMO and, and um, and then the other uh, citrusy one. I'll be reviewing those here on my YouTube channel as well. And I still have haul videos and like, I have a lot of Lush videos to make and I'm starting to wonder if I'm gonna get to them all or not because there's only so many hours in a day. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. see. We have the Creative Showcase, which people are talking about. And the Creative Showcase is, uh, Lush does this uh, every year. For the past two years anyway, um, Lush has a creative showcase at an, an area in London. Uh, last year it was at Tobacco Dock. I have a creative showcase page on my blog uh, from last year. So you can take a look at that page. It's chock full of all kinds of fantasy stuff. I mean, they had chocolate mushrooms and and scented nail polish and, you know, um, shower candy floss. And, and at the Creative Showcase, Lush um, will display and show all of their new products, um, any kind of limited edition products, any kind of Halloween and Christmas products, and any exclusive products that are going to be exclusive to Oxford Street, 
all of those kinds of products are always introduced at the Creative Showcase. And I'll be getting some uh, Creative Showcase things thanks to some very lovely and kind people. And so I'll review those here on my YouTube channel like I do, like I did last year. And I'll be adding all of the products that appear at the Creative Showcase, every single one of them, I'll be adding them to my blog with pictures, descriptions, and everything like that. Well, I'm gonna be building a Creative Showcase page for 2017, just like the one I have for last year, 2016. And I'll be starting work on that today. And you can see a Candy Lions video I have on my Creative Showcase page for 2016, in which uh, she recorded what it, what it was like in there. Uh, from the moment that the doors open, she recorded the whole thing, and you can see that on my leshalot.com blog underneath Creative Showcase 2016. I'll put a link at the end of this video to, uh, to my blog so that you can, um, if you want to, you can check out the Creative Showcase uh, things. They had all kinds of stuff. So if you want to know what's coming out for the holidays, you should be watching the Creative Showcase. They'll introduce the holiday stuff there before they'll uh, introduce it anywhere else. So if you have any questions about any of these products, uh, either the products that are gonna be in the Lush Kitchen next week or any of the products that I just mentioned, go ahead and comment below and I'll answer your question as soon as I can. So that's about it. So if you enjoy this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there and hit that bell below. That way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new demo review video, which I do one to five times every week. And thanks so much for watching. And as always, we'll talk to you very soon on the next video. Bye-bye.